Today was the last day to vote early for the 2020 general election. Millions of Americans have done just that. We're seeing record breaking voter turnout all across the country, and many of those voters are young people. News since Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom tonight. In your election alert, she has more from a first time voter about their experience. Patrice Fondrell, listen to this. According to a Catalyst survey, more than 1.2 million voters ages 18 to 21 have already cast their ballot this election season. Now, this isn't a normal trend, but across the country, we are seeing more and more young people head to the polls. Nearly 100 million Americans have already voted in the 2020 general election including Alyssa D'Amica, a first-time voter. Because I wanted to make sure that my voice could be heard. D'Amica's interest in politics came at a young age from parents who voted every year. You know, it was a great deal of pride for me when I got my I Voted sticker because I feel like I really con contributed to my country. D'Amica says this year the election is very important. I never thought in a million years that this election would be so important to me and, you know, my values and other people's values. Saturday morning, D'Amica woke up and headed straight to the polls, expecting long wait times, but only had to wait about 15 minutes. D'Amica says it wouldn't have mattered. I was willing to wait hours if I had to. There was going to be nothing that was going to stop me from voting this year. It's an attitude we've seen across the country as young and first-time voters continue to cast their ballots. D'Amica says because many young voters are just now turning 18, they're ready to have their voices heard. So this year, we, there was nothing to stop, you know, me and all of the other younger generations. Meanwhile, clerks across the Wabash Valley are getting ready for a long day ahead of them tomorrow. I got an inside look at the Vigo County Courthouse with County Clerk Brad Newman. He walked me through the process each ballot will go through tomorrow and the precautions they are taking due to COVID-19. Newman says his people will be checking and double checking to make sure everything goes right. We're going to be very meticulous and this is going to be, um, it's almost going to be slow on purpose because we all the counts have to be, this is the Super Bowl. This is one where we can't make a mistake. Now, Newman says the most important thing for everyone tomorrow is to have patience. He says to not expect any numbers or updates before 830 or even 9 o'clock. And of course, we will continue to update you here on air and online at WTHITV.com. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you.